Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and uh, I've just had a uh, shower and I'm uh, all ready to go out and pick some uh, Chinese food up, a bottle of wine and we're tuning into boxing, alright, Eddie Earns show uh, on a nice stream, so right, I'll get straight to the point <laughs> John Ryder against Callum Smith is going to happen next year. So I've just been told from the same journalist who told me about John Fuchs training Kell Brook. You know, everybody said I made that up, didn't they? And, oh, it's a load of crap. Well, John Ryder against Callum Smith is going to happen next year. So what Eddie Hearn's going to do is going to freeze uh, Callum Smith out so he's got nowhere to go because everybody knows that Callum Smith. He don't want to go to 175 because of the bogeyman, the Turbia. And, uh, you know, people like that at 175, Bivol. So, I mean, would you even risk Callum Smith with Marcus Brown? 23 and 1, is he? He got beat to Pascal. Would you risk Callum Smith with Pascal, who Frotch beat 11 years ago? I don't think you would, would you? So. That's just how it's going for Callum Smith at the moment, but they're going to have to take the John Ryder fight. My argument is this. Is John Ryder against Callum Smith for the WBA super middleweight title and the ring magazine belt thrown in? Is that a pay-per-view fight? Now, the same journalist from Sheffield, he did not mention to me if it's pay-per-view or non-pay-per-view. I'd have thought... It's a non-pay-per-view fight and that it probably does more tickets and gets a little bit more hype but it is not a pay-per-view unless Eddie does a stack card and who knows he might even charge a tenner but it's not a pay-per-view in my opinion. Uh, it's Callum Smith who not a big ticket seller, not even that good a fighter to be honest. If John Ryder's beating you, you've got problems. Uh, but it is what it is, isn't it? So I wish John White, John Ryder, but I wish John Ryder all the best. I'm team team John Ryder. I like him. Uh, I like Callum Smith as well. I think he's oh, he always shows a bit of class. But I always root for the underdog, and John's still an underdog in the rematch. But I'm glad that John Ryder has uh, got his rematch. It's just a case of uh, Eddie Earn, you know manoeuvring uh, Callum Smith into it and Joe Gallagher taking the bait and quite rightly so as well because at the end of the day Joe Gallagher kicked off for Paul Smith to get a rematch against Arthur Abraham and he kicked off for Anthony Crawler to get a rematch against Linares and both fights didn't warrant rematches he also kicked off for uh, the Liam Smith one as well and uh, but that did warrant a rematch, didn't it? So, so I give Joe, Joe Gallagher credit for that, but he's not going to want to face John Ryder again, is he? I mean, if he doesn't face John Ryder, Callum, Callum Smith, does he beat Canelo? No. Does he get paid against Canelo? Yes. Would Canelo come to the UK and risk it against Anfield? No, probably not. So he'd have to go on his travels. But I think all this Anfield is pie in the sky. Do we want to see Billy Joe against John Ryder again? No. Do we want to see Callum against John Ryder? Yes. So Eddie Earn, well done for wanting to make this rematch. I'm going to take my hat off to you Eddie Earn. Well done. Uh, it's just a shame that you know I had to break it to fans. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging. Thank you very much for backing the channel. And Innovation Alloys. Bump. Alright, peace.